Crafty Cuties and welcome back to another bullet journal video. Today I'm going to show you a really fun file system type Dutch doors in our bullet journal. If you haven't seen my first video where I showed you three really simple Dutch door ideas, be sure to check that out. But without further ado, let's hop right in. I'm really excited about this week's layout. So I am incorporating these Dutch doors into a weekly layout in February. So what I am going to do is I will be having three pages as my doors. So I have already figured out and marked on my pages where I want to cut these doors. So if we can kind of ignore that these pages are here, I want to give you an idea of what I'm going for. Across the top here, where you can kind of see I have it mapped out all the way across and then through to the next page, I will be having my week overview on those pages. So for instance, if Monday I have an appointment, Thursday I have, you know, take Alistair to school or something, I don't know, whatever. I'm just going to have it be an overview week. So like the most basic and important things of that day will be on this top aisle here. These will have each day. I have a lot going on in this week, so I wanted a lot of space to map out each day. So I'm going to have Monday on one, Tuesday on the back of one, so not an entire page per day, but one side per day. So with that being said, I need three sheets to have six days, but I'm going to split that sixth day into two, so seven days, obviously. And then I'm not sure what I will be using this bottom portion for, but I will figure that out as I go. That's not important. So like I said, I have mapped out where I want to trim. And for starters, I know that I want to trim down this middle so that this overview week will be present and you'll be able to see it no matter what's going on with these pages. So let's just go ahead and start with that. I'm actually going to just cut all the way across through those three pages just to make it simple. If you wanted to be super neat and tidy about it, I would suggest doing each page separate, but you probably know I am not neat and tidy with my crafting or bullet journaling at all. I just want it to go quick. So we're going to Go like this. I do think it's a great idea to make sure that you have your layout ideas mapped out, even if it's just in pencil like I have here, so that you have a good idea of what size you want your Dutch doors to be. Okay, so now we're going to take these flaps off right here. I always get a little nervous doing this just because some of the pages are a little harder to rip out, but you got this, okay? So now that we have those out, I wanted to create little file tabs on the sides here so that I can write the different days of the weeks on those tabs. So for this, we are going to go page by page. I do have those mapped out and I'll try to show you. My lighting is not great today because it's super, super bright. So I had to bring in my artificial lighting and shade the sun. But as you can see here, I am wanting all of these pages to be a little bit shorter than my complete layout. So I know for sure that I'm going to go one row down, if you can see how I have that mapped out. And then the tab will come up so that the tab will be the same height as all of the pages. So we're just going to go ahead and cut off the parts that we don't want. And I have them mapped out so that all of the tabs will be alternating so that you can kind of see each tab with all of the pages closed. So now I'm going to just go ahead and cut down and if you want to see how I end up decorating this week's layout, you can definitely stay tuned as I do plan to do a plan with me video on that part separate just because it will be, there will be a lot to that video. And I didn't do too much for measuring these tabs. I kind of just counted a certain number of boxes. I think it was eight or nine. I think it was eight, but. I'm not too precise about that. And I'm just gonna cut at an angle, again, not measuring, just kind of eyeballing it. 
So now we can go ahead and do the next. And now you can see why we wouldn't cut this part with all the pages together because each tab is at a different place. And we wanna make sure that we don't cut through those. And I'm cutting at kind of a weird angle here, so just bear with me if I'm, I don't know what, I, I don't know where I was going with what I was just saying, but here we go. And I really don't like cutting the page numbers off. I have done it on a couple of the doors that I've created in here. And even though you can see what the page number is, you know, on the opposite side, I just like having it there. It's just easy for reference and easy when I'm flipping through to find like a page that I need. Okay, so now we have two of our tabs and I love how this looks. I think it's such a cute way to build in like a filing system in your bullet journal. And I think it would be really awesome to do a complete month like this. And if you don't need too much space in your bullet journal for your layouts, you could do a complete month. You, ha you would have your month overview on the two main pages and then each door would be a week because you could do like a complete weekly layout you know on these two pages like this so yeah i think i will definitely want to do that in another video so maybe for the next month i can create a month overview with the weeks as the dutch doors if that makes sense and i think that would be fun and i have a bunch of ideas for different types of shapes that we can do for the dutch doors so Definitely looking forward to making more of these. Okay, so now we can just cut down this last strip and we will be complete. I'm not going to put washi tape on the edges of these ones. I do like to do that, but since I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to be decorating this layout yet, I don't know what colors I would want to use, but you can get an idea of how that would look with washi tape or you could use like watercolors, something like that. I wanted to share with you my final layout using these file Dutch doors and here it is. I did share my complete February setup which included this layout here um, in a previous video so I'll have that linked if you want to see the complete month. But I love how it turned out. I did some ink blending with my distress inks around the edges of each page and I did actually trim down the size of the pages a little so that you could see each page behind it. Love how it turned out. And if you do end up making any of these file tab Dutch doors then show me on Instagram and tag me so that I can see and I should also mention I didn't come up with this idea I saw it on Pinterest so I'm not claiming it as my own but you can make any idea your own here at I'm a cool mom. Okay guys, well I'll see you in the next video. Bye!